Mm. Now, coming up, we have a new story about how often you should change your sheet. Here's, well, let's make it a uh, a guessing game. Who changes their sheets more often, men or women? Oh, this is a no-brainer. Yeah, no oh, kidding. Man. Yeah, women. I, no, I would have guessed women for women. sure. Yeah, uh, what? big time. Yeah. Yeah. Every when's Thursday. The last time, when's the last time you changed your sheets? Uh, every Monday it happens. Every Thursday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, every I'm Monday. done. I'm once a week now. Every mm. Monday. Ace? Once a week. I mean, I would, there were times I would go so long. So long. As a single man, I would think you'd go quite often without. <laughs> how, now, when you say so long twice, how long is so long? A couple months. Oh. Yeah. So what would finally make you do it? The, the sheen? Uh, Literally when I would, like, I couldn't bugged. fall asleep because I was like, these are gross. <laughs> They, Yikes. Like, I, they would feel sweaty, you know, kind uh, of. And... You're not helping us dealing with him by telling him things like that. Well, that was an older behavior. It's changed now. I've modified He's my... He's grown up. Yeah. No, 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 no. And he does No one changes. You're the same as you've always been. <laughs> you don't want him to bring one of his ladies over and she <laughs> slides off the bed before the action starts. <laughs> <laughs> or she sits down and it crunches. <laughs> so now you're a guy who sits at home, eats, watches porn on dirty sheets. In yeah. His oh, mind. people can't believe when they see me in public. <laughs> How come you're not at home eating a pizza and <laughs> masturbating? Why don't you have crumbs in your beard? What's, uh, what's oh, going dude. on? Are there pizza stains on your <laughs> bed? Filthy, filthy oh. being. Now, we were talking about some study about uh, the sheets and changing your sheets in a bed. And Josh, you said there was a time you'd go a couple of months. Yeah, it's probably my record. And it wasn't conscious. It was just, uh, oh, man, I really should wash these. Young guys do that. Yeah. 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 20s, bachelor, what are you going to do? Right. A new study says people don't clean their sheets as often as one might hope, especially after they've had an intimate encounter. Sex. Hmm. Sex. Doing it. The study found there's a big difference in how long men and women wait to change sheets, which have been, shall we say, soiled through sexual activity. <laughs> the average man will wait how many days? After sex mm -hmm. to change? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, At after sex. Yeah. Uh, a week? Okay. You mm. want to guess, Chick? Uh, 12 days. Eight? Don't think too hard. We oh, for God's sake, I'm trying to dig. What do you think this is, TV? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 11 days, Chick. You were oh, wow. closest, but you I went over. over. I did yeah, go over. I did go over, yeah. How, and women usually will do it within four days. Oh, I would have thought the that day or the uh, next day, yeah. That day, yes. Hey, what's wrong, Karen? You got a Japanese flag in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a totally different situation. <laughs> Sorry. Well. Tom. That was her first time. Her. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> oh. Now, Christy, if, if let's just say you've had an encounter on the kitchen table. What do you do? Do you get a new table? Do you bleach that thing? No, I'm mean, high-fiving and having a great night. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> Good. Well, that, that is a good question. You have sex on the kitchen table. Just wipe it down. What are you talking about? Hmm. You don't uh, go ahead and eat a meal there and sort of All right. oh, uh, God. admire the... What's uh, wrong with mm -hmm. you? Admire the... Shut your eyes. Whatever this is, remember. it can't hurt. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie <laughs> it Baker. Hurt. Hey, Donnie. <laughs> hey, Christy, you ever have sex on a waterbed with no sheets on it? No. It's sort of like a table. Said when you pull out your rubber hits a mattress, there's more squeaking than an NBA game. Yeah. Pretty God. Thank you. I heard you guys picking on Chick for wearing caffeine patches. Mm -hmm. That's right. Chick, I said like this, them patches work. Don't you let them make them change your mind. Okay, thank you, Donnie. Well, my Uncle Junebug used to never smoke. And he started wearing them uh, patches to cover up his skeeter sores because he's always picking the scabs. Uh. And he didn't have Band-Aids in the house. And he's basically bed riddled. He started covering up his <laughs> sores with uh, nicotine patches mm -hmm. and worked his way up to two packs a day. Oh, I swear to God. Good for uh, him. He, he did it. That could kill you. <laughs> well, to this day, Tom, his whole room smells like Captain Black. <laughs> but, and I ain't bragging, but back when me and Angel Skinners was last together, and we did everything together then. Oh. Even, even watched porn together. And she was way into Peter North. And Josh, you know what Peter North is best known for? Yeah. What? Yeah, he, um, he, he had quite a load. Dude, oh, he could, he could, he could fill, a, uh, he fill a waffle cone on demand. He sure can. He, he throws ropes. <laughs> well, everybody here at work had a bunch of theories on it. Like my buddy Jamie Barnes swears by eating chicken, but you have to leave the skin on it. <laughs> okay. And my Aunt Putty claims it's goat milk. <laughs> really? I swear to God, I guess my uncle Kenny had no idea that's what she was putting in a slim fast shake. <laughs> but Peter North ain't never confessed to what it is. But you can't deny the proof. 
Because he's got a better launch record than Kim Jong Un. <laughs> oh, nice. So my point is, one weekend, me and Angel was playing darts in her basement, mm -hmm. and I'd been drinking, so I was going nowhere near the board. And she's like, "Damn, Donnie, Peter North could do better than you," <laughs> which sort of made me jelly. And, and down there in the basement, her stepdad Denny had this old sofa he'd sleep on down there because he snores so bad. Mm -hmm. So I was just laying there on the end table, and I figured, what the hell, I'll use it. I dropped my Zubaz and started the process, and I put on one of them breathe right strips right over the shaft. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. I swear to God, man, I ain't bragging. <laughs> but I basically beat her at cricket with one shot. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so you laugh, Josh. Their slogan ought to be, add some thrust when you bust. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, sure, it looks weird, and nobody wants to walk around the house with a pork sword look like wearing a cummerbund. <laughs> right. Yeah. You can't deny the results. Apparently and not. And, of course, Angel ruined the whole day. She was so mad, I used her stepdad's breathe right strip. <laughs> I had to go buy a whole new pack of you know, breathe right. You know, I should have put it back on the end table, but she's afraid he'd get a runny nose. Oh, uh, right. I'm going to go. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Wow, maybe, that was informative. Yeah, maybe we should get back to changing your sheets. Yes. Uh, after an account. <laughs> Wow. Uh, Boy, there's uh, nothing. Now, now, Josh, I know you, you're, you, seriously, you said you've got a lot more, uh, you pay a lot more attention to the rules of hygiene and you change your sheets a lot more often. Yeah. Of course, yeah. he's an adult. I, I understand in this, in this post-coital realm, you actually uh, change the back seat of your car, which I thought was really thoughtful. Well, sure. Yeah, you want to keep way, that uh, you know, spot free. And, sure. And after, what do you do? Lay a counter. towel down so you don't have to worry about it? I have uh, people that handle this. I have no idea. <laughs> As soon as he's done, he has a little crew that comes in. I, I bet he does.